A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. In more okay, ways, this if... isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you are right. <laughs> I'm sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Ain't no way, bro. But when we was on the Normandy and I said, can I talk to you one-on-one, one -on -one, right? I was trying to 1v1 that heart. You said, not right now, maybe later. Ashley sucks, bro. Ashley sucks, bro. Keep think he is, bro. I got you, bro. I got you, Rex. Get your dumb ass back on the ground. Let's go, Rex! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, bro. Redemption, bro. Oh my god. I ain't see the last one out the door. Oh my god, Rex really did that, bro. Wow, bro. Reckless Rex in his bro. Wow. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. What do you mean by that? I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. Mm. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Okay. I almost spend the... The, the next 50 minutes trying to find you some baby lotion for your face, bro. Yeah. I can tell you've been underground for a long time. That's what I'm saying. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn. I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my it's getting research weird. does not receive the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. You know what, Akira? Akira, you got it, bro. That's all you. That's all you, bro. 156 and she's still a toddler, bro. Enjoy yourself, bro. 106. Got it. Got it. That's all you, Akira. That's all you, Akira. Yep. Yep. I'm going to stick with my queen. <laughs> Tali Zora. Thank you very much. What does that mean? I might know. What? Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. Mm. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before. Oh, okay, never mind. Because my theory was going to be the Prothean, the last Prothean just cl just clean up everything. It was like, bro, y'all don't deserve us and dipped. But um, how do you know this, though? Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. Mm. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. Hmm. Ooh. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? That's the thing, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I know. I know there you don't. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. 
I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Mm -hmm. Message, message. The mass relays in the Citadel are based on the technology of those who came before them. Messages. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. Shut up and I'll tell you. Bro, this game is crazy. I low-key just want to watch a video of like the the meanest shepherd in gaming and just see what these responses look like, bro. The humans are next. Bro. Bro, but put it in put it in IRL though. All great civilizations rise up on the backs of others to one day crumble in a violent crash. Oh no. This is terrifying. I don't want to say what I, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to say what I, what, you know what I'm trying to say or what, like what the game is trying to say. Cause I want to remain hopeful, but, but damn. Somebody said, I'm out of here, bro. Yeah, I'll see you underground, bro. What you bring into the bunker? They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. Mm-hmm. The, the Reapers? But I have never heard of. How do you know this? What evidence do you have? A, a freaking vision I saw. Well, you got to tell her how. There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. That neck is crazy. Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. Mm. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. <gasps> Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. But it wasn't to me, though. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. In more okay, ways. This if... isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you are right. <laughs> I'm sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way, bro. But when we was on the Normandy and I said, can I talk to you one one on one? Right? I was trying to one v one that heart. You said, not right now, maybe later. But then when somebody else, new challenger, show up into my life, now all of a sudden we can't have that convo. You the most, you the, you the worst kind of toxic. Because you don't know what you want, but you're keeping me from pursuing what I want. I can't f*** with it, bro. That'll be your last mission with me. I'm so pissed that you even like sitting in this rotation. Ashley sucks, bro. Ashley sucks, bro. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture. But I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. Ooh. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. Ooh. And her Ooh. biology will come in handy when the fighting starts. Ooh. <laughs> and she got the Rex approval? Whoa. Whoa. This is interesting. I never liked Ash. She a L. You got a body, Ashley. Ashley skating on thin ice. Me, an empath, sensing out. Ashley is jealous. Lashley. Wow. Because this is the thing, bro. Not only did she feed my ego by telling me she's, she's not safer anywhere else, right? She said, I can be of help with my pro Prothean knowledge, right? It's like, bro, Ashley, do you know anything about Protheans? Or is your or is your mental still stuck on human activity like hissing, fart? Hold on, bro, what was that song I sang? Hissing, farting, shitting, and throwing up. That's where you still at. She's 130 and still, hold on, hold on, hold on. Forgot about that part, actually. Forgot about that part. I was about to say still youthful, but she said child, bro. F man, F man. 
can't f with it. I can't f with it, bro. I can't f with it, bro. Why does she have to use the word? Cause like, bro, 29, I'm still youthful. Why did she say child, bro? I gotta say this. We've already got every other non-human species on board. Might as well add an Asari to the team. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Prothean's true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We're, we're done. We're done. We're talking. We're, we're, that's all for now. Keep it professional. We're, that's all for now. Proceed the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the council? Bro, they can live for 500 plus years. She's not a child. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. One Asari was 1600 in one of the games. And Roxas with the dono. I got peach pie. I got peach pie. Also, why his head looked like a Minecraft block? You know what's crazy, bro? I've I've achieved so much in this game and we're still talking about his appearance. I saw earlier somebody in the chat said, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Neck. How do you... Yo, mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the council and let them know I got a Nasiri with me? Um... Hell no, I'll go, I'll go talk to a... Bro, bro, no, I'll talk to Anderson myself. Don't bother. Aye, aye, sir. Just, just for them to secretly tell, uh, tell that Turian on the council. So he got, bro, I don't trust nobody. I don't trust nobody. Who I do trust even more after what I saw today though? Rex, Rex for sure. That was a crazy battle. <laughs> Rex boy. Okay, talk to crew. Okay, bet. Um, I'll talk to Joker last. Let's start over here. Oh, save. Okay, bad. Some. <laughs> oh. I'll fall. I'm chilling, bro. I'll fall, friend. Yo, Killer Kai, how you feeling, my boy? Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? Oh, speak your mind. Off the records, bro. Elenko, when it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. That's a generous attitude. Okay. I think there's something wrong with all this. Talk to me. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get backup from the council? Right. Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. Mmm. Okay. Yo. Yo, he is. He. He. Yeah. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but. Or a cover up. I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in bot. The heck is bot? Basic. Basic. Uh, I don't know. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in aluminum. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Oh, gosh. Y'all was like X-Men, but like X-Men prison, Loki. Seems like you beat the odds. How many didn't make it? Out of 100, maybe 60 have no effect. 30 suffer adverse effects, little things like brain cancer. The other 10 show enough ability to augment with implants. That was permanent, though. Not like the cancer. No. Next thing you know, you're out on jump zero. And how's a kid supposed to deal with that? A station at the edge of human space. Right, right, right. What are you talking about? What did, tell me more about Jump Zero, bro. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. 
right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Kinetics? That sound like, um, what is the Kinetics of today, bro? Like, I know that, like, they, like, I put, so you can't scrub shit off the internet, or is Kinetics, like, like the tour is that is it like the tour bro i don't know i don't know i don't know bro let's uh then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other yeah we'd sit around and bowl every night after dinner and play cards or network games Garris looked there better this girl named rada who had a little circle grow up around her she was from turkey her family was very rich but she was smart Charming as hell. Beautiful. But not stuck up about it. I think you'd have liked her. Hmm. What about you? We're talking about you, bro. Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But things never felt together. Training, you know. Do you know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. But that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. Alenko, there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your Commander. Oh, that's fire. I appreciate that, Commander. I just don't want you to think that I'm a, a whiner. Besides, I've got my pass squared away. Respect. I, I want to see what they, what he's talking about in the Codex. Um... In the early... The Hanar are a citadel species known for excessive politeness. They speak with scrupulous precision and take offense at improper language. Hanar that expect to deal with other species take special courses to help them unlearn their tendency to take offense at improper speech. Mm. All Hanar have two names. The face name is known to the world. The soul name is kept for use among close friends and relations. Uh. Hanar never refer to themselves in the first person in conversation with someone they know on a face name basis. <laughs> to do so is considered egotistical. So instead, they refer to themselves as this one or the impersonal it. Their homeworld, Kajay, has 90% ocean cover and orbits an energetic white star, resulting in a permanent blanket of cloud. Due to the presence of Prothean ruins on the world, many Hanar worship them, and Hanar myths often speak of an elder race that civilized them by teaching them language. Okay. <clears throat> the Prothean beacon downloaded its knowledge into Lieutenant Command. Wait, wait. Lieutenant Commander? Is that a thing? Into uh, Shepard on Eden Prime, causing confusing dreams and visions. While the imagery is becoming clear with time, the meaning of the beacon communication result remains elusive. It has been suggested that Prothean data rec recording is highly dependent on a certain point of view, what Carl Jung described as the collective unconsciousness. Unconscious, sorry. The cipher needed to comprehend the images implanted in Shepard's mind to, is the... Wait, what? The cipher needed to comprehend the images implanted in Shepard's mind is the cultural knowledge of a Prothean. The archetypes, biological instincts, and common experiences universal to the race. Since the Protheans have been dead for millennia, it may be impossible to acquire this cipher. Got it. I'm gonna talk to everybody, then I'm gonna save. Yo, Monique, good night, bro. Uh, whoops.
Alright, I'm just gotta go down one more flight. No worries, no worries. Uh, is the dock in here? Hey, dock. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Hey, Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an elder. Oh, we already had this I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. Well, you can get metagels from right here before missions? Bro. You couldn't have told me that, but instead you wanted to tell me about every possible... Alright, bro. You didn't tell me nothing about the medi gels in my in my office. But you told me, hey bro, she's not worth your time. You can only actually talk to it's like Damn! So we've got Saren on the run. Yes we do. Yes we do. And hold on, y'all. We gotta clap it up for Rex one more time, bro. That was a phenomenal a performance from Rex last time, bro. That's fire. Yes we do. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. Big Rex, bro. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why is nobody telling me they got his history with this <laughs> bro? Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. Come on, man. I'll decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting You know he mercs. went on his own. You know he went on his own. He wasn't that open. And he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freight our biggest haul yet i was on board checking bodies for valuables looking for some extra credits that's when i saw him what did saren want with the ship i don't know what he wanted he was just moving through the ship watching a couple of the mercs called him by name but he never spoke to them never spoke to anyone i had a really bad feeling about him so i got the hell out didn't even wait to get paid what kind of cargo was the freighter carrying what was saren after i don't know all i saw on that ship was food and medical supplies there were some basic weapons but nothing big if there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. What's crazy about y'all, bro? As Rex is explaining his relationship with Saren, I look in the chat, turtle face ass. Rex don't brush his teeth. Oh my gosh, bro. Y'all don't hold back for nothing. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel, big one. Lots of guards, but they were no match for us. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. So long, Rex. Shepard. Yo, Ashley, Ashley, let's <laughs> let's talk about what happened earlier upstairs on me. Commander, you have a minute to talk. What if I just curved her this time? But I'm loving this, bro. I got, I, I'm, a, I'm, of course, I'm gonna click, of course. I'm just, I'm just, it's just so funny to me, dude. It's just so funny to me, dude, that she would approach me. You know what I'm saying? When really, really, I shouldn't, I shouldn't utter another word in her direction. Ah, oh, man. 
but it's it's been it's been a long time in this you know you know i'm, I'm tired of I'm, I'm tired of i'm tired of reliving rex and, and william bro i need my own stories you know what i'm saying Rex shouldn't be the only one getting some play, bro. And it's not just William. You look in the chat, everybody's talking about it. Bros be like, what did he say earlier? I want Rex meat. Bro. Girls is in the chat. Rex looks sexy today. Rex. I need a piece. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? This is tough. This is tough, though. This is tough, though, because we've been. Bro, this is not y'all can't say racist. Y'all can't say racist. Y'all can't say thank you. Thank you, Fusher Duel. You can't say humans up and then be like, that's racist. You have to pick a side, bro. You have to pick a side. Nah, bro, you can't be saying racist. You need to pick a side. We might have to have a change of heart right now. She is racist though. We, we we might have to stop saying humans up. We might have to stop saying that, bro. Don't mince words, Chief. What's your concern? This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. Let's just keep asking questions. I think this is the best way to approach it. This is the best way to approach a racist, bro. Just be like, why do you what do you mean by that? Um, you don't trust them? No, no, no. What do you mean? I, it's not about trust. It's about protecting our defenses. You think they're here to attack our defenses? No, I'm just saying. Like, bro, you don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I call the council races allies. Fair, fair. That's fair. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. By mistrusting our allies? How do you get from relying on ourselves to mistreating our allies? I don't mean we should mistreat them, Commander. I just think we should be prepared to go it without them. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. Wouldn't the fact that we have alien allies make the council as noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon? What? You've got a pessimistic view of the universe, Williams. A pessimist is what an optimist calls a realist. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. That's racist. It's not racism, not really. No, I'm a nigga, no. You racist. <laughs> oh, brother, bro. Oh, brother, bro. That was actually, bro. When I heard that, I was like, whoa, whoa, yikes. <laughs> Sheesh. It's not racism, bro. You know who, bro, only only one type of person say that, bro. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. Damn, that's real, though. But I, but, uh, but I, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm confirming or denying how she feels. I'm just asking questions, bro. Casper with the 30 bit says, if we can't see the good in aliens, we're no better than our own oppressors. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Casper just came in and just dropped a, dropped a, dropped a vicious domer on us, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. That's how, that's how the other species would view the humans. She's right, but he, Casper's also right, bro. It's a matter of perspective, bro. You can either look at the world like everybody's out to get you, or you can look at the world and be like, there's good, there, there's good out there, you know? But let's just keep asking questions, bro. We, you know, we're not doing nothing wrong here. 
These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother... All they races. They all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. I never knew my family. Grew up an orphan on Earth. Anybody in your family I'd have heard of? Couldn't say, Commander. So why are you out here? Just trying to get away from Earth? Wouldn't you? It sounds anti-human, bro. That's a crazy question. I, I, I mean, I'm here to I'm here to serve humanity. I'm here to serve humanity, bro. It's, it's like I said, it's giving Confederate. <laughs> Mainly, I wanted to serve, protect the Alliance, save lives. You know. Glad to hear it. I'd hate to think you were out here for a free college education. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, sir. Mainly, I've been groundside, part of the service. <laughs> <forces. laughs> oh I'm my gosh! On a space station for training. Every Marine, a rifleman. Every rifleman, ZG certified. <laughs> Yo, Ashley character, crazy. Ashley character, crazy, bro. I did get a rotation on the space station for training. Just one? That's odd. Your record is spotless, and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. No, nah, you no 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 no. That little stutter, that little stutter. Let me know. You ain't you ain't supposed to be on that fleet. Why you only get one tour? Who is your parents, huh? I bet your parents was alien massacre monsters, bro. Just shut up is nuts. All right, I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. I don't know. I don't know. That's don't don't start talking to me like that. Don't start talking to me like that. I'm gonna have you jumping. You feel me? Yeah. I'm a nasty commander. I don't give a damn, bro. We're in space. She obviously feeling me. She gave me the green light. It's consensual. She gonna be jumping, bro. Oh me. What about me is a crazy flirt, bro. That's a crazy flirt, bro. Would you kiss anyone I ordered you to? That depends, sir. If you ordered me to kiss a superior officer, that would be a violation of the regs concerning fraternization. That would make it an illegal order. I'd be required to decline and relieve you of command. Oh my gosh. Sir. Oh my gosh, bro. We're done here. What's your opinion on the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? Why she just turned into into Wally? -E, that robotic ass response, bro. Did you hear that? Well, that would be a termination of my contract in federal relation, but like, bro. And I'd have to report you to the council. The council that's full of aliens. I'd have to report you to my superiors. Like. Ah. Let me chill, bro. Let me chill, bro. Cause whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, she. Oh man, if, if anybody deserve it, it's. You know what I'm saying? That's like I'm. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to let her take me there, but. Ah, uh, she's not. A, she's not that. She's. Uh, she's. She's more. She's. She's Custer territory right now. She's more Custer. She's more Custer, bro. Slow Jam Cam said, "You got a girl. Chill. Are you really that guy, bro? You're really that guy, bro." Like, 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 I'm over here. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just cooling. I'm not saying these things to her. I'm not saying these things to her, bro. This is my stream of consciousness with, with, with my crew. You really gonna be that one nigga in the crew? Like, hey, bro, watch your thoughts now. Berlin, a nasty commander. She's not feeling you, bro. You're not that guy, pal. I said that hella long ago. Custer mannerisms. Keep on shooting. Berlin, it's not that hard to be loyal. Hell yeah, because you got Tali. Don't be that guy. She just not that into you, Berlin. I'm gonna tell Tali. <clears throat> not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? That is true, but I mean, 
I think she's being straight with us. I do. I do. At least, I don't think she lies very often. I do. I really do. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. How are we doing? What's your opinion on the last oh. mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, sir. Oh my gosh, now she's looking forward to it. Give me a break. Commander, how are you? Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm, that's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. I think she like you, Berlin. Stop, cut it out, Steffi. Stop it, bro. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the bids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. Um, bro, like, he, bro, he's a man, bro. He should understand his son wanting to, like, be more than him, bro. He's not impressed that you're going after Sarah? Right? My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Sarah. Bro, bro. He actually talked me out. I'm going to tell you what he's really doing, bro. For the same reasons. He actually talked me out of becoming a specter when I was younger for the same reasons, bro. Bro, your pops ain't used to, ain't used to like, your pops ain't used to somebody just, just taking life, right? Like, like, bro, this what, this what you got to do, right? Your father ain't used to somebody just grabbing themselves by the balls and being like, I'm taking over this world for me and me only. Your father got hit and snipped and now he is C-Secker for life. You gotta be like, yo, I'm doing this for me. Not about to be no C-Secker. His father looking at him like, no, 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 this is wrong. There's no way he came out of me. Like, yes, dad, this could have been you. And now his dad is still trying to hate on his grind, bro. Call game Quezzy said he was neutered. Bro, it's a, it's a metaphor, bro. Follow me here, bro. You know what? I, I can't deal with y'all sober, bro. I'll be right back. Everything, Evan, everything Ebony with the 100 bits. I'm not drinking with this man tonight. Last time I did that, the pink Whitney started tasting like pink lemonade. Bottoms up, though. I took one shot, bro, and I came back up. I grabbed me a soda. I'm, I'm taking it easy tonight. I'm not doing that again. He actually talked about, uh, oh, a specter. You were asked to be a specter? Well, I was targeted as a possible specter candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. Spoken like a true CSEC officer. Yeah, it's a speech I've heard one too many times. Garrett's coming to the cookout, bro. There are rules. CSEC's rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Exactly. You're a quick learner, Garrus. We'll beat him at his own game. It's the only way to stop someone like him. I'm right behind you, Commander. Garrus is a real <laughs> bro. Bro, f you. Now you might not be here. You might not have been here for the last session when we played this. But the reason I said that is because, bro, bro, he's talking about he he sells me weapons for more than they charge, more than they cost at the stores. Uh oh uh oh like i need this <laughs> are you okay i don't know your ship is amazing and your crew's been really great to me especially your chief engineer but i just sort of feel out of place no 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 the normandy runs so smooth it feels like we're not even moving and the engines are so quiet how do you sleep at night what you mean it's too quiet to sleep sweet thing the silence wakes you up back on the flotilla the last thing you want to hear is silence it means an engine's died or an air filter shut okay, down okay baby you, you're not in the hood I no more don't have to worry about that here 
but old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Hey, but back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, not you wanting to go back to the pilgrimage. Come on, now this is your pilgrimage. I am your pilgrim. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. Right. But maybe they just wanted a different life. I'm not about to even put this thought in her brain talking about butcher going. No, I'm not going to ask her that. I already know the answers to that. I have to ask this. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually, but we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. I hear you. I hear you. I should go. See you later. Oh, that's heartbreaking, bro. Something I can do for you, Commander. Carry on, Adams. Oh Bye. my gosh. She want to go back. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 bro. This ain't right, bro. That's right, bro. Staring the wall. Process. My man's just sad, bro. This sucks, man. I think I talked to everybody. Except for the new girl. Where is she at? She's talking to the doc, but like, but like, where is she at though? Is she not available for combo right now? Oh, I haven't talked to Joker yet. In the med bay? Okay, perfect, perfect. I'm, I'm, yeah, I gotta go. You know, I, I prefer gold to silver. You know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. Somebody said this was a voice actor, but I don't remember what bro said. If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. Fun, fun. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this, baby. No medal's worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? It's been about, um, for my shit right here. This is about, uh... About 29, 29 years. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. Uh. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything Look at what, average. Bro, Kiro Nicolala said, Berlin said, all my life. That's so fucked, bro. I get this. It's funny, but like, I can't wait till you have a son and and, and he, I, bro, bro, bro. I pray for your son beard downfall, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. Yo, Nims with the fifty bits, Berlin. You better treat Tali right. That's the alien queen right there. Nims. This is your second time coming into the chat telling me how to run my relationships, bro. Can you just, can you just, it's A and B. It's me, Tally, A and B. See your way out. You feel me, bro? Like, like, like some things don't need your input, Nims. Cause I feel like on the low, you trying to separate us. You feel me? Like, like, like some things, bro, are, are, are best left unsaid. Stay out my mix. Tell me about med omni gels and med gels, bro. I have to go. All right, see ya. Like Nims, tell me about those things, bro. Tell me about good uh, mods for my weapons. You all up in Intelli hard. N 
Not Ren not Renai said he waiting for an opening. Oh, me Nims is, bro. Yo, Nims, relax, bro. Nims, take some soda. That's for you. 222 Sandy said we finna tell Tali. Tell her what, bro? And you just let me live life. I thought she was fainting, girl. You over here on um what is that? Omegle? I don't know. Ooh, ooh, that walk up. Ooh, ooh, they didn't have to show us that. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? I mean, I was a little worried. I was a little worried. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. She, she, she's great. She's great. She, she, you know, I made sure that she applied extra attention and care to your wounds. Um, make sure to get you, to get you fresh water. Um, I'm talking Essentia, not that Dasani. Um, um, how, matter of fact, how are you feeling? How are you feeling, by the way? Yo, you, you, you feel cooler. You feel cooler. You feel cooler. Yeah, you feel cooler. That's good to know. That's good to know. Cause I was, I was worried about you. And, um, yeah. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... You ain't gotta say a thing. You ain't gotta say it. I'm thing. just glad we got there in time. So am I. You gotta say a thing. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. Yep. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. I believe you. I believe you. On the low, on the low, human. On the low, humans down. Humans down on the low. Don't tell them I said that, but humans down though. Ah. These niggas. That's some real ah. shit, bro. They don't, nobody here even has hang time like you do. Like, you're more human than they are on some real shit. Like, and you look good too. Um, just wanted to, just want to see how you was doing. <clears throat> don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. You know what's crazy about y'all saying? You know what's crazy about y'all saying? Y'all, y'all on my bumper right now for what I said? Everybody in the chat thirsts over Rex. So you're not really about the human cause, bro. You can sit up here and fight for human rights and then go and, and marry a Rex, bro. Right? Ain't that what we discussed previous? Right? Stand on all 10, bro. You said it. I got the tape. You said it. You can't thirst for Garrus, bro. You got to have eyes for Shepard and Shepard only. I'm marrying Garrus. You do you. All right, Ebony. Okay. Nim said, I got you, bro. So, um, you need to shop for upgrades on your guns and start putting money, putting that money to use. Hashtag Rex a King. Oh my gosh. I appreciate it, Nims. Appreciate it, bro. K Rock with the 10 bit says, uh, cuz on this Captain Kirk. Uh, he said, he said about to clap some blue alien cheeks. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Yo, K Rock, have respect, bro. Have respect, bro. Have respect, bro. I see you, but have respect, bro. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs. That's Cap. Unearthing mundane items buried That's in Cap. Your mother's literally the, the, the your mother's literally the matriarch right hand to Saren. Your life is lit. Tell me more. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. 
As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you sound like a homebody like myself. You know, most of the time I'm just chilling at the crib. Uh, I might get like on a special night, some hookah going. I throw on some cool anime and just vibe to myself. Uh, you like anime? You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. Mm. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. It's not foolish. It's not foolish. Because honestly, your mother, um, I I wish you, I, I want to put her six feet and I, you uncover her in, 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 years, in years to pass. She's an evil woman. She deserves to die is what I'm saying. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. So if I was never touched by the beacon, would you still be talking to me right now? Or you feel me? Like, are you, are y'all picking up the vibes that I'm, that I'm receiving? It's almost like I'm, I'm like a fetish for her, bro. But you notice I've never lost my masculine frame. Again, I'm just talking to you all being the voices in my head. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just like, this is stream of consciousness, bro. I'm just telling you what I'm thinking when it happens. And y'all over here, like, critiquing my, it's all good, bro. But she definitely feeling me because I, I survived the beacon uh, download. Don't try to study me. Low key, low key. I got some artifact you can take low back key. to the lab, doctor. I, I am sorry, Commander. I did not mean it like that. That's how it felt. I just, I am used to dealing with computers and data disks. I am not very good with people. I let my professional curiosity get the better of me. Please forgive me. Let us talk about something else. You okay? You all right? You all right? You all right? But that's, I don't know. I don't know, bro. That was, nah, bro. I do feel where she's coming from though. She's like a bookworm, you know, but at the same time, you have to stand your ground too. Like you you have to have some self-respect. And and I had to let her know how I was truthfully feeling. I'm not finna brush it off cause she look good and got some blue bazoongas. Fuck that bro, nah bro. You gotta know how I actually feel. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the council and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic- Here y'all go. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. Okay. All right. We still require a partner to reproduce. That was my next question. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. This is a crazy response, bro. 2007. Okay, so give this give this game give this game some some time to evolve, you feel me? Let's just go here first. I don't understand. <laughs> Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology mm. allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. Oh. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. Excuse me. This is reminding me of, um, uh, what's the name of that one um, movie, bro? Avatar, Avatar, Avatar. But even then there was, there was specific genders there. It's the idea of like, 
like 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 connecting and then learning literally everything about each other bro like that i don't know but she gave me a full breakdown of how she mate it made sure to say that it was raceless and genderless i mean she described it in great detail bro if i had two more shots bro i'd let me ah uh, bro i don't know bro I had two more shots, bro. This desk might flip over, bro. On some real shit. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Decades? That's beautiful, bro. Who was? What's your daddy like? Do you know who made in your life? Media chose as her partner. She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Hmm. I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered spaceflight and left our homeworld. Union with our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction, most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. Mm. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring mm. why agree to the union if she didn't want any children love i cannot answer that this is all speculation on my part it is possible she wanted to be part of my life but something happened to her before she had the chance benezia never spoke of her partner whatever happened it caused her too much pain to dwell on it she raised me by herself though that is not uncommon Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Bro, Iman in the chat said, she has no edges, Berlin, tee up. You still stuck on her looks. Do you hear her mind? It's not doing anything for you. You don't see where I'm coming from. Do you hear her words? Do you hear her words? Oh my gosh, bro. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose? Bro, she just went through this. It is possible. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? A few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. That's beautiful. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Bruh, she's talking that talk, bro. I know y'all don't want to hear, but she's talking that talk. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Goodbye. Goodbye. She's talking the talk, bro. Thank you, Iman. Thank you. Talking that talk, bro. Iman said, I hear every syllable. BB Steve's with a hundred bits. Bro, she just trying to intelligently boss the angel. Thank you for the hundred but the hundred bits. Bet you wouldn't be cheesing so hard if Tally was behind you. Oh my gosh, bro. All right, all right. What's the next mission? Y'all killing me, bro. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this, bro. I, I want to kill. I'm. I'm going to um, Hades Gamma Cluster real quick. I'm not thinking about no geth, bro. I got. I got. I got to make some quick ducats, then I'm gonna go to the Citadel, buy some, shit, and then um, probably save and, and call it for today. We'll do the. We'll do the two geth missions tomorrow. You going to the Hades Gamma, bro?
Shadow kill. Okay, I'll save when I land, bro. This man faded eraser as hell. X to Dan, thank you so much for the dono. You think Liara spitting? Message but coming in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the diplomat's lounge on the Presidium. How'd you get my line? All right, Ashley, I need you. I need you for this one. Yo, Rex, Rex, <laughs> Rex, you, you, you went crazy, bro. I need you for this too. Wait, I can't bring Liario with me? Hold on, bro. If she got biotic strength, if she got biotic strength, this, I like, I like this combo. I like this combo. I like this combo. I have no tech squad. I have no tech anything in this. Yeah, yeah, Liario, come, come on with me. Come on with me. Raja, what you mean? No, get Lashley out of there. Oh my gosh, bro. She, bro. She's a great fighter. She's a great fighter. Remind you of what Berlin? I don't even know what I said. What did I say? What do you mean remind? What do you mean remind? Oh, this is the wrong one. The Han and Dis systems. The Dis system of the Hades Gamma. Hold on. The Dis system. The Dis system. The Dis system of the Hades Gamma. There it is. Y'all see how fast he dropped Tally? Oh my gosh. I'm trying to make sure that we take the right team in because I don't want Tally to get hurt. Jeez. You get off my back. It's like it's like there's it's like there's there's 20 tallies in the chat. You this, this exactly, bro, bro, the way that y'all acting, bro. You sending, bro, you sending a nigga straight to the bar after work, bro. Let, let, bro, let, let Tally live, man. Every time Commander Shepard get home, he walk in the front door, hey, babe, and there's five other women in there going, mm, 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 mm. Then Tally finally go, hey, sweetheart. It's like, damn, you think I want to hear that? Tally is only a side to you now. Come on, Tally. Come on, Tally. Come on, Tally. And, um, bro, I need somebody else with some. Let's go. Let's go, Rex. Damn. I'm here for the crime, boss. Ho hopefully, hopefully my queen don't die in this fight. Thank you. Thank you. Sure, sure would hate to, sure would hate to lose my queen. But here we are, bringing her to war. Wish she let the warriors handle it, but her friends told her, told her she needs to be here. So now she's here. Miserable. Whole game because you said, Oh, it's playing it clean, right? It's almost, it's almost, it's crazy because it's almost like a lost, a lost, a lost planet. One of these days, I'm gonna stop doing that, bro. Berlin save. All right, good call. Hey, cry castles. Hey. Hey, I'm here all night. Hey. Easy work. Yep. Quick bag. Quick bag. Nothing to it. You could really make a killing out here in, in, uh, in these planets. Oh, yep. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is what, this is what a crime syndicate is. Please 
give me a chance to turn around, y'all. Got him. Got him. Sat him down. Got him. Who you sniping at? Got him. Sit your chest down. Oh, oh, you want to? Yep. Got him too. Easy work. Cleaned out. You flipped in front of the enemy. I'm crying. Okay, well. You know who else is crying? The enemy's families. They're all dead. Right. Nobody care about that damn flip, bro. I care about that flip. Yep. Matter of fact. Matter of fact. I'm going to show you some more flips. Yep. Watch this. Yep. I got you. you. You thought that flip was funny? You thought that flip was funny? How about this one? You thought, you thought that flip was funny? How about this one? How about this one? Oh. oh my girl, my girl, my girl, my girl, my girl. I know Rex isn't down again, bro. What is what does Overlord Overload do? It's looking great right there. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Yep, 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 yep. Dream team. Dream team. Dream. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is him. This is him. This is him. Sweethearts, um, sit down. Sit down for he blow your head off. Sit down. Oh, she getting in the mix. No, 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 no. I can't. I, I, I don't care. I don't care. I can't let her get hurt. I can't let her get hurt. Oh my gosh. Helena was right. These guys had quite the operation going, but that's all going to change. One down, just one more to go. Oh my gosh, bro. Y'all would not say W's in the chat if it was Ashley and Talia, bro. Queen can scrap.
Para said, what about it? Rex slumped again. And of course y'all give him a pass for it though. Jojo, you still chilling in here, bro? It's hard to see you if you're not spamming. Been watching the whole time? Okay. Okay, Jojo, so, 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 so again, 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 I'll show you like a, just in case you haven't been here for all the drama, I'll give you a rundown. I, 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 won't, I can't even give you a rundown, bro. The chat has to do that. I'm gonna just show you my different, um, I'm gonna just show you my different, my different, my different partners. I'm gonna show you my different partners. And, um, you know, I just, I just, I just want to know, I just want to know your perspective. I just want to know your perspective. The drama is that this nigga a player. Oh my gosh, bro. I literally, literally haven't said anything to any other chick besides Talia. Like, I, like I'm just talking to you all. I didn't say roster. I didn't say roster. What's crazy is y'all talking like this in front of, in front of Tali. I peep it, but I'm keeping it pee. I'm not saying shit about it. Sister wives. I'm gonna have to ask y'all not to. Mon said, Berlin, do you do? You only get one life. Mon, that is the most beautiful thing I've heard all day, bro. Whoa. Mummify Solarian. From what I seen, we got options. I don't see the problem for real. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. That is one of the most niftiest answers I've received all day. But the thing, the thing about that is I, I definitely, I definitely have spoken to Tali and I have, I've told her to her face that I claimed her womb. So, I mean, I can't really blame her if she has an issue with me talking to other women. Cause it's like, can't you can't say things like that and then you know i hear you though how you claim a girl and have options yeah yeah i knew that was coming next all right so we're headed to the gemini sigma in the hand in the han system Gen gemini sigma gemini sigma gemini sigma gemini sigma gemini sigma gemini sigma bro There it is. Me. You can be anything you want to be in Mass Effect. <laughs> Claim her womb? Absolutely, bro. Absolutely, bro. But she wouldn't understand that because, um, like I said, the connections that that I that that I made personally don't have to be explained. You notice Tally, you notice Tally Zord never has a problem when I, when I call it that. So basically what we're saying as a community, bro, is like, you remember the example I said of like me coming home to my wife, Talia, and her having five friends there all the time. And each of them go, mm, 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 when I walk through the door and then Talia finally says hello, it's all of y'all in the chat. I walk in the door. Hey, honey, I'm home. Mm, 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 mm. Like, you start chewing bubble gum. Unclaim it. I can't do that one, bro. I gotta do me. I'm gonna go tally. I'm gonna go. I need. I need fighters. I need fighters. I need fighters, bro. Bring Liara. I can't do I can't do that on stream. 
Bap say, thank you so much for the five bits, bro. Nothing wrong with having options, Berlin. You know? You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, damn. Brother just trying to live life. Berlin licking top Berlin licking Tally's braids. This this how I, this how I know. This how I know you just talking. Tally don't even have braids, bro. She don't even have braids, okay? You're thinking of Talia. I mean, uh Um yeah. I think uh, that's that's her name, right? Talia? Tally Zora don't got braids, bro. Tally Zora don't got braids, bro. <laughs> I mean, and I would too. Ross, I'm not getting her names mixed up, bro. Can we, can we, can we not have this conversation right now, bro? Get in here for get in there for you lose this artifact, bro. Bro. Get in there before you lose this. Oh my gosh. We good, we good. What I like is all the shorties we messing with about action, bro. Lizzie on Husters. Absolutely, bro. You know, what more could you ask for out of your queen, bro? If we claim in wombs, Garrus got mine on layaway. Oh my gosh. Who said that? Okay. Mock mommy. I don't ever want to see you join the stream talking about humans up, bro. Nobody hearing that. Nobody hearing that, bro. Berlin is a Jezebel. Oh my gosh. Now I'm, a, I'm all these, I'm all these names, bro. I'm all these names, bro. Garrus get a whole womb on layaway. And I'm over here every, every stream, six hours at a time trying to save my relationship. Nigga Rex tossing salads on the daily and y'all still talking about I want Rex meat. Like how, bro? JoJo says, so who's the main one you feeling though? Um JoJo, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Um uh, the only one that I'm truthfully feeling is my queen right here in the orange. Tally Zora. Thought Tally Zora Narea. Now um Ashley Williams has an issue with when I when I speak to other women, she always cuts them off, always interrupts the conversation, but she always plays hard, hard to get. You know what I'm saying? We know somebody like that, right? So uh, I just gotta, I, I gotta let her go, bro. You know, so now I'm just focused on me and mine. And um, I'm not gonna lie though, there is this, there is this blue shorty on 55th, bro, who look good as <laughs> And um, you know, the, the temptation is there, but like, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess up my happy home to explore that you know what i mean that's king shit i appreciate you bro ashley's racist oh yeah i forgot ashley's also whoa ashley's also very racist bro that's why i gave her the that's why i gave her the green jump shoot because she's a snake what if the home could be happier with both of them oh my gosh bro Jojo talking that talk right now, bro. Damn, damn. You gotta ask the chat how they feel. Cause I know how I feel, but my answer, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna get chewed out. Some things are just better left unsaid. Ignore the outside, talk Berlin. It's you and it's you and your queen. Bro, you're a war general? Bro, oh, bro, you're a war general. Like, these are these are very valid points, bro. I'm a war general. They're trying to turn me into a house cat. 
Focus on your queen. I'm focusing on this mission. I'm focusing on my mission right now, right? Oh. No, that hurt. That didn't hurt him at all. That didn't hurt him at all. Get your bitch ass in the sky and get lit up. Okay, I count seven enemies. I know he thinks he's about to. I know. I already know what he thinks, bro. And watch what happens. Your dumb ass on the ground, too. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I know he's not shooting at. I know he's not shooting at my, at my ladies, bro. Come here, don't. No, don't be shy. Come here, don't be shy. I just ate a shotgun blast, a vicious one to the chest. Warp his dumb ass. Warp his ass. Nice. Throw a barrier up. Nice, okay. Now we're gonna switch back to the, okay, we got the shotgun. Yep, 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 yep. Um, Adrenaline burst. Blast him. Oh boy. What are you doing, boy? Oh, this is the crime boss. Leave him be, leave him be, leave him be, y'all. Oh my gosh. On me, on me, on me, on me, y'all, on me, on me. Going for the sneaky flank. Going for the sneaky flank. Yep, detonate, detonate. Uh huh, uh huh. Mapping my warp. Yep, yep. You get warped. Yep, you get warped. You don't know what hits you. You get lifted into the sky. Get blasted. Get blasted. Yep, you're done. You're done. Good night. Yep, switch to my sniper because he he don't he don't know I'm also an excellent shot. Get set down. Yep, get set down. Two to the chest. Yep, switching back to my Avenger. Now he thinks he's doing something because my health is low. Watch this. I hit another barrier. Good as new. Now he did poison me on some sneak, bro. But it's all good. It's all good. But he he wasn't ready for this. He wasn't ready for this. I run up, switch to my shotgun again. Sit down. Who are we looking at? Okay, crime boss is left. Everybody take cover. You, you know, you know he ain't about to do nothing, right? He ain't about to do nothing. Matter of fact, who else has powers? Use your shield boost. What did he just do? Oh my gosh, bro. Hold on, we ain't never seen nobody like him. I ain't never seen nobody show me. Oh, they're like, bro, I don't know if I could kill this dude. Y'all got him. Ashley, Ashley, you're the combat specialist. Take point. Take point, Ashley. Take point. You know what? Um, how about this? Everybody take their shotgun out, bro, and, and let's pray. Oh, Y'all got shield boost. 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 Y'all scary, bro. Y'all scary, bro. I got two grenades. I got two grenades. He done got his shields back. He's not moving. And he just gave up our position. It's all good, sweetheart. It's all good. Um. I need help. Somebody push up on him. I got this. Barrier, right? Yeah, yeah, he, he getting thrown to the sky too. Where you going? Where you going? Okay, okay, I missed. I missed. How about this? How about this? Stupid. That's both of them. No doubt, Hel uh, Helena Blake will be overjoyed to learn that these two scum are no longer a problem. Let's go, y'all. Yeah, big, big W's, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Yep. In my Kill Bill spandex, bro. Jump it, jump it. You looking dumb in front of... <clears throat> no, my back was itchy. My back was itchy. Yep. yep. A specter movement, you wouldn't understand. Specter movements. Moves like that, and they want you to stay shackled to just one, honey? Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. What y'all got to say to that, bro? What do y'all got to say to that? Icy Maria. Oh, brother. 
unusual gamer said release you said before you end the stream to remind you of something oh yeah it was uh damn it was to go to the no 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 no. the mission showed up in my journal so we're good there it was about some short film somebody said why not to watch aliens the legend of the dark forest or something like that bro i said we would watch that on the way out wetware kit okay go ahead and grab that I don't, even, I don't even care what that is, bro. We out. Taco Bunny said, I say you for the streets. Okay, well, if I wasn't, uh, humanity would be at a standstill. So you're welcome. You feel me? Like, bro. Hey, bro. Chat, let's live a, a little. Why y'all want to be faithful on the game? Nah. <laughs> He shouldn't be claiming women's wombs then. Nah, Jojo, nah. But if Garrus tried try some mess like that, I'm gonna have to keep I'm gonna have to key his armor. Oh my gosh. Key his armor. You are toxic. That is actually crazy. Bab say said life is too short to just have one honey. Live it up, Berlin. Make a harem. <laughs> yeah, y'all wildin', bro. K Rock with the ten biz. Nah, I was wrong. Get with the nebula looking one. The other one ain't battle ready. Damn, you saying don't get with Tally? JoJo says she the only woman he need, but is is it the only woman he want? Mmm. <laughs> this conversation is hilarious, bro. Somebody said he sold his soul. <laughs> oh my gosh! Are you gonna tell me when the what? Do, what do I go next? Go to the Fortuna system in the Horsehead Nebula and meet Helena Blake to claim your reward. All right, let's do this last one. Horsehead Nebula. Hmm. <laughs> Are we living in a dream? What? What? I think it was Fortuna, right? I hope so. Roger said, Tali with me now. It's okay. The angel with the hundred bits. So what I'm hearing is that all those queens, minus Lashley, should just focus on themselves. Got it. Berlizzi, you're done. You're done. You're done. <laughs> you're a uh, Europa Violet. Thank you so much for the six months. Next today, thank you for the biz. Berlin got Ashley. Tally got my si Berlin got Ashley. Tally got my six kids. In the metaverse, maybe, bro. You ain't talking about my girl. You got me twisted, bro. Jalen Renee, no, you do not, dude. No, you do not. No, you do not. No, you do not. Tally for the streets, you got to be too. I'm not hearing nothing y'all talking, bro. Berlizzi, I got into a fight yesterday and lost any and lost any tips. We was fighting and then I real and then I ended up slipping on the snow, which gave her more power over me. Any tips? Um, I don't, bro. You live to fight another day, I guess, bro. GG. All right, so I'm taking Tally and Liara. You know? Hopefully, 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 Helena isn't on bullshit. Whoa! My boy Jojo coming through with the 20 gifted subs. What the hell? Thank you, bro. Thank you so much, my boy. Wojo in the chat. Wojo in the chat. Wojo in the chat. 
All right, we're going to head to the exclamation point first. I think that's this way. Uh, Jojo, yes, sir, bro. Thank you, bro. This is a fantastic game, bro. I just can't wait to get on that third one. I hear I hear great things and like I really don't remember if I played the third one or if I actually played this one, but I don't remember like barely any of this. Yo, poll in the chat, who do you prefer? I can't wait to see this. Hold on. Tally by 60% of the votes. Y'all got it. I'm getting to this bag, bro. Y'all have to respect this. All three? Ugh, bro. Bite size black bear with the gift of sub. Thank you, bro. I'm Meek with the dono. Huge fan of Mass Effect, and I forgot to turn Nodis on, but we here. Ugh. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much for the donut support, man. It's a great game. Ruben Javira with the 40 bits. Thank you, bro. And Max with the 23 months, the lazy otaku. I'm going to keep it a bean. I never played Mass Effect, but I'm still in the beginning. Game kind of fire so far. No, this one's for sure fire. K-Rock said, you can have all these, scal all these scallywags in Mass Effect if I get Cortana without you trying to interfere. Bro, Cortana gone, bro. Cortana gone, bro. And I, I ain't played the campaign enough to know about this new chick, bro. She might be on bush, bro. Damn, look at this one I gotta do. Ugh. I'm about to lose. I'm about to lose. I'm about to lose, bro. I'm about to lose. Good shit. I failed. Oh, I can try again. Thank God. Um, my thing is how you still want Ashley and she's racist, bro. I never said I wanted her. <laughs> Jojo said, Ashley racist. Thank God people can change for real. <laughs> I'd rather be on Tally's dick than Ashley's. Yo, easy Kai. Um, um, I think you missed a part of the exposition. Crucial parts. Yep, yep, yep. Right, Helena, you ain't have to you ain't have to come out here um the f um where are we bro? Corneria to, to, to pay me. Planet Namek Bro, someone in here writing a whole novel on how they fought. Y'all riding Tally like a rodeo. Bro, I know she better not be setting me up. Oh. Hello again, Commander Shepard. I'm sorry. I owe you a debt of gratitude. Why she got a gun to her back? With my former partners dead, this syndicate is now mine. I could not have done it without you. Where's my payment? I killed them because they deserved it. Now I'm placing you under arrest. Surely you don't think that necessary. Under my leadership, this organization will restrict itself to gambling and smuggling illegal technologies. These crimes are hardly worth your time. If you press the issue, my assistants are very well equipped to deal with you. Still don't have enough Paragon or Charm or anything to talk to her nicely, bro. It's a fight again. Oh my gosh, and I brought my girl here. 
So am I, man. If you won't come peacefully, I'll have no choice. A pity. Neutralize the specter. No, 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 no. Don't go so fast. Don't go so fast. Don't go so fast. I'll lift you. Ah. Yep, yep. Hold on. I can't get through here. Now is not the time. Come on, bro. None of y'all know how to get through this. Why do you only have one power? Sir, can you come open up the door, sir? Please, sir. This door right here, sir. This one, sir. Just shoot it. It's, look, it's looking like it's going away, low key. Hey! 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 Time to get active. Time to get active. Shotguns are blazing. Nope. Nope. Still mess in that room. Oh my gosh, we going nuts right now. Barrier up. Warp they ass. Oh yeah, you, oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is beautiful, this is beautiful. Marksman, Marksman. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Marksman, Marksman, Marksman. Nope, no, 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 no. You're doing too much, you're doing too much. Get lifted. Oh my, I'm about to die, I'm about to die, I'm about to die. I need y'all to finish the job, please. I need y'all to finish the job, please. Not my wife. Not my wife. You bugging, boy. You bugging, boy. You bugging, boy. Bugging, boy. Bugging, boy. Oh, she behind us. Her ass. Do her ass into the wall. Yep. Clown. Low key, I'm not even mad at the fact that, like, I didn't save. I didn't save. What just. I'm done. Drinking my cup, pockets they fat, they eating they lunch, and I be in the parties only if it's popping. Top model copping, pop bottles often. That's no question, I'm turned up. Babysitting ass, nigga, drink your cup. We party to the AM, hit the AM PM. Chick stop and stare, cause the easy, we them. We in the party, she feeling naughty, she feeling on me. I think she want me, but I'm a Mac, never slipping on my pimping. Probably got your girl and she tipping on my dick. And if a nigga feeling froggy, man, fuck a tadpole. I wake up 